Whip. We're heading out to Whirlpool Campground on the Athabasca Pass Trail. 49k to the pass, but we're only going 6k today. And today we're bringing the one and only Alicia coming for a cameo. 6k to go. And we're off. Beauty day. What is it? June 8th, 9th? 9th today? Friday. Friday. June 8th or 9th, one of those days. The weather's looking good. Maybe might get a bit of rain tonight or tomorrow, but we're fully prepared for whatever may come. And if we're not, then we'll die. <laughs> so there's the junction to Moab Lake, which is this down that way. It's a nice lake for people to go fishing. But we won't stop there today. We're just heading down to the first campground on the Athabasca Pass Trail, which is 49 kilometers, but you can only go up to Simon Creek because the bridge is out and they still don't want to replace it. Even though some dude volunteered his money and time to design a perfect bridge without any cost to parks, but they don't want to do it. So one of the most historic trails in the Rockies is inaccessible for whatever reason. Politics. Couple of the uh, red chairs and a view of the lake, Moe Lake. Pretty nice. A little, little hazy today. Must be some fires burning. That would be part of Edith Cavell there. And then you got Mount Geraldine. And then the Whirlpool River Valley up in there. Pretty sweet. Nice. It's actually a pretty decent trail coming in here. It's like an old road. So it's pretty wide, quite open, so well, you can see it's overexposed, but the views are pretty nice through here, too. So it's quite scenic. In between Mount Edith Cavell and uh, Mount Geraldine there. Nice and warm today. A little hazy. Bugs ain't too bad, which is good. We're at about two and a half, almost three K in, so just under halfway. Got mountain chicken here. Gross. Standing his ground. What's up, man? Cool as a cucumber. Oh, can you spread it? Yeah. Thinking about it. He's like, follow me. See you, buddy. Hi, Mr. Pretty cool. 
So we're only just just under 1k to go here. Early season out of shape. Feeling it the heat today. But not too far to go. is Whirlpool Campground. It's a beauty view. She has a hot day today, but no mosquitoes really, just a lot of flies. It's humid. So the fire pit's just behind. And these are the tent sites down here. my setup and Alicia's over there not bad got a little bush in front of my tent but uh, it's a little more shadier here than say that site there is pretty exposed Alicia's got a really nice spot there nice view of the, the pond Hubba. So yeah, that's pretty, very nice spot to wake up to. Just gonna leave the vestibule off for now. But yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Pretty scenic for a nice easy 6k walk in. I'll just leave that like that for now. And then yeah, the eating area, fire pits up here. It's a really nice, nice spot for that. They got the bear lockers now instead of the uh, the wires, which is much more convenient. So there's the fire pit, a little fire this evening. Not bad at all. Nice spot. Hopefully, maybe some of those clouds roll in a bit and give us a little more shade. A little breeze would be nice and blow some of these flies away. Just after noon, so get the whole day. So chill out, relax, enjoy this wonderful piece of nature on this legendary historic trail. Hell yeah! <clears throat> so found some firewood to get us started for tonight fire and cook some dinner but just have to be extra careful because it's very dry there's no fire ban but you know gotta take all the uh, precautions right now so Alicia is looking for a water source there's maybe a little creek flowing into this still pond here and uh, the river's over there, but you can't access it because of the pond. So, I mean, I've got water filters, so I'm sure we could drink it, but it'd be nice to find some flowing water. So she's off looking for that right now. Yeah, it's a nice spot. So far, we got it all to ourselves, so. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Alright, let's see if she found this water yet. Yeah. 
There is a little creek on the way in, about uh, just under a half K away. So we can definitely get water from there. Just a little little walk. There might be one closer down here, so we'll go check it out. Alicia's investigating right now. That's a nice, uh, nice campground here. For a short hike and a uh, good reward, it's definitely high up on the list. Camp in a nice spot like this for a couple hours walk. How's that? No way. Veggies on there. Then we got some garlic chive and cream cheese mashed potatoes. So we'll have a nice, nice good dinner tonight. So it's just after 11 o'clock here. The last of the lights leaving. It was a super hot day here, and then uh, there was a few more people arrived, so we just kind of hung out by the fire here and had some good conversation with people. And just gonna sit here and burn the last of the coals and head off to bed, and hopefully we'll get up to a nice sunrise tomorrow. Hot today, but it's supposed to start clouding over and maybe some rain, so it's kind of good timing to come out. Yeah, really nice spot here. All right, well, uh, see you in the morning, I guess. Uh, good morning. Uh, about 20 after 8. Got up a few times this morning, but just slide in the tent. It was a very warm night last night. Didn't get cold at all. So it was quite comfortable. A few clouds rolling in today. Might get some rain later. But, uh, Have my morning coffee here. A little breakfast, and I guess slowly pack up and head out today. Maybe beat that rain, hopefully. Yeah, it's good. Good night. Good fire. Nice day. Benches right here, They're overlooking the uh, river and the wetland. It's Mount Geraldine. Nice spot for a morning coffee. Place to wake up. All right, well, we're off heading home.
home. A lot cooler today. There's more clouds. So it's uh, going to be easier hiking than that almost 30 degree weather yesterday. But yeah, it was a good night. I met some nice people. Had a good fire, good dinner. It was super warm last night. Didn't get cold at all. So yeah, it's good, good trip overall. Now we just got the journey out now. We'll be back. Pretty cool spot here along the trail. Oh, I'm just okay. filming. So you can see all the old dead trees that are still standing and then the new growth growing. The mountains in the background. That's pretty cool. So I forgot to do my uh, post hike follow up like I usually do. And Snow White, but uh, yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, good to be out with my friend Alicia and meet some other nice folks as well. So we were there, we got there around noon, and it was a nice hot day. We just chilled out, and then uh, some other people showed up. That's why there wasn't a lot of video taken, just because we were interacting with other folks and stuff and then we had a nice fire and everybody's sitting around that um definitely a good early season trip the uh, trail's good nice and wide not too much uphill or downhill short hike beautiful views so all around uh you know, especially for a uh, early season or if you're a beginner uh, backpacker or trying solo for the first time, this would definitely be uh, a place, you, you know, you'd want to check out. So thumbs up for Whirlpool Campground and uh, 